In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. My dear friend, I am sure you are very well. It is Thursday, the 13th day of June, in the year of our Lord and Savior, 2024. Today, we celebrate the memorial of St. Anthony of Padua, priest and doctor. Our gospel passage is taken from Matthew chapter 5 verses 20 to 26. For the scribes and the Pharisees, the external fulfillment of the precepts of the Mosaic law was the guarantee of a person's salvation. In other words, a man saved himself through the external works of the law. Jesus rejects this view in today's gospel passage taken from the Sermon on the Mount. For Jesus' justification or sanctification is a grace, a free, strengthening gift from God. Man's role is one of cooperating with the grace by being faithful to it and using it as God means it to be used. Jesus then outlines new moral standards for his disciples. Anger is the rawest, rawest, strongest, and the most destructive of human emotions. Describing three stages of anger and the punishment each deserves, Jesus advises his disciples not to get angry in such a way that they sin. Number one, anger in the heart. It has two forms. A, a sudden blazing flame of anger which dies suddenly, B, a surge of anger which boils inside and lingers, so that the heart seeks revenge and refuses to forgive or forget. Jesus prescribes trial and punishment by the village court of elders as its punishment. Number two, anger in speech. The use of words which are insulting or damaging to the reputation. Jesus says that such an angry person should be sent to the Sanhedrin the Jewish religion's supreme court for trial and punishment. Number three, anger in action. Sudden outbursts of uncontrollable anger, which often result in physical assault or abuse. Jesus says that such anger deserves hellfire as its punishment. In short, Jesus teaches that long-lasting anger is bad. Temptatious speech or destroying someone's reputation is worse and harming another physically is the worst 
So what can we take home on this beautiful day? Let us try to forgive and move forward reconciliation as soon as possible. I mean, we move towards reconciliation as soon as we can. St. Paul advises us, be angry but do not sin. Ephesians 4, 26. When we keep anger in our mind, we are inviting physical illnesses like hypertension and mental illnesses like depression. Let us relax and keep silence. When we are angry, we pray for God's strength, for self-control, and ask him for the grace first to desire to forgive and then actually to forgive those who have injured us. And as I, I know I have told you this uh, before, that uh, the best gift you can give to yourself is the gift of forgiveness. Allowing not anger to control you. The problem comes when we are controlled by anger. Do not allow it. Finally, on the celebration of St. Anthony of Padua, I want to wish well all the people called Anthony, especially those named after this great saint. All the Jumuiyas, I have one close to my heart, uh, the Jumuiya uh, of St. Anthony of Padua, Kawi. <laughs> Thank you. God bless you. I I'll come to pray with you today. Today, today, I'll be coming there. May God bless you. Uh, all the churches under this great saint, uh, other organizations, other institutions, happy feast. Watuakawi, happy feast. God bless you. I hope kuna keki. <laughs> Thank you. See you later. And everyone, happy feast. God bless you. Enjoy this day asad let us pray lord jesus christ i thank you who laid down your life for me so meekly you bore the nails so patiently you are raised upon the cross so mercilessly you hung there so painfully you wept so bitterly you cried aloud piercingly. You shed your blood plentifully. And for me, a sinner, you suffered death unquestionably. Now, Lord Jesus Christ, I commend myself to your love, to the power of your passion, to the depth of your endless mercy. Jesus Christ, in your immeasurable pity, keep alive within me the memory of your bitter death, of your holy wounds, so that in sickness and in health I may remember your mercy. Gentle Jesus, defend me from all danger and keep me so that I may stand before you in joy. Defend my soul, Lord Jesus Christ. In every need, let me come to you with a humble trust saying, Jesus, help me. In all my doubts, perplexities and temptations, I will always say, Jesus, help me. In hours of loneliness, weariness and trials, Jesus, help me. In failures, disappointments, troubles, and sorrows, Jesus, help me. When others fail me and I need your grace, Jesus, help me. 
when others betray me and I need your assurance. Jesus, help me. When others reject me and I need your comfort. Jesus, help me. When others hate me and I need your love. Jesus, help me. When others break my heart and I need your restoration. Jesus, help me. When others kill my dreams and I need your revival. Jesus, help me. When others fail me and I need your grace. Jesus, help me. When others harass me and I need your protection. Jesus, help me. When I throw myself on your tender love as Savior. Jesus, help me. When my heart is cast down by failure and when no good comes from my efforts, Jesus, help me. When I am impatient and my cross irritates me, Jesus, help me. When I am ill and cannot walk, and when I am lonely, Jesus, help me. Always, in spite of my weakness, failures, and shortcomings of every kind, most sacred heart of Jesus, help me and never forsake me. Amen. Glory be to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. My dear friend, I remain your priest and servant, Father C.K., wishing you a productive Thursday.